in, in my guru's temples in India, this mantra is sung, um, well, in some places, 24 hours a day. Up in the mountains, it's sung like 18 hours a day. And, and there's a little room where the kirtan singers sit, and there's a dangling microphone, and they sing, and it comes out of the loudspeakers. And it's, you know, many, many, many different melodies, but with this mantra. Now, in Maharaji's temples, you walk in, and it's a Hanuman temple. Hanuman, the, the monkey god, the devotee of Ram, the servant of Ram. And then as you work, walk further into the temple, the next um, Murti, that means sacred image that you see, is, is Durga, goddess Durga, the wife of, of Lord Shiva, the protectress, the remover of, of all the impediments of ego. So, you know, it's sort of not absolutely normal. <laughs> I mean, it's completely absolutely not normal in an Indian temple, which is very, very traditional, to have, to have these three elements mixed, the uh, Hare Krishna mantra, Hanuman worship, and goddess Durga worship. So, you know, for people who have been in India, you know, you, you, usually you'll go to a Hanuman temple or you'll go to a Krishna temple or there'll be a Durga temple, but they won't be the same. And so my friend, a friend of mine in the Hare Krishna movement, this was quite some years ago, I was about to head off to India. And my guru died uh, seemingly in 1973. And the temples have been run by this uh, wonderful, fabulous elderly woman named Siddhima. And so my friend said, you know, when you go to India, ask Siddhima, why did Maharaji, you know, it wasn't confrontational. It was really just curious. Why did Maharaji choose to have the Hare Krishna mantra sung night and day, night and day, night and day in Hanuman slash Durga temple? And I said, okay, I would. Because actually, I had never thought of it. But now that he mentioned it, I thought, yeah, you know, that's a little odd. I never felt odd being there, but it, when you think about it. So I got to India, and I went up to the mountains, and I was sitting in the temple, and, I, and Siddhima, I was talking to her, and I said, Siddhima, my friend from the States asked me to ask you this. Why is the Hare Krishna mantra sung in all of Maharaji's temples night and day, night and day? And she looked at me rather sternly, and she said, Jagopal, that's my full Indian name, why not? <laughs> And, and I, I said, Ooh, I didn't know what to say. And she said, this mantra contains all of God's names. Now, that's only three words in the, in, in the mantra. So already, you know, it's getting a little, okay. It's going to be one of these answers. And then, but then she says, and then she got really, really firm and stern. And she said, and furthermore, Jagopal, in this day and age, if you don't sing God's name, your limbs won't stay attached to your body. <laughs> so uh, I just took it in. <laughs> and, you know, if, I, if ever I, you know, like a human, like any human, if I ever you know, in the course of a day, sometimes doubt my path. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one who doubts their path every once in a while. Um, I'll just remember that I want my arms and legs to stay <laughs> attached to my torso, and there's really absolutely nothing spiritual about that, but, but thank you very much. Hare Krishna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it was kind of a new bottom line that she gave me.